My name is Allie May. I'm a senior at West Bridgewater Middle Senior High School and I'm a two-sport varsity athlete on top of playing softball all year. I struggle to find time to balance my life just like other student athletes all across the country. Uh, my name is Mary Demora. I am a senior at Wheaton College and I play softball. Um, my name is Carolyn Mullen. I go to Fulham North High School and I play field hockey, softball, and basketball. My name is Kyle Perry. My school is East Bridgewater High School, and I play soccer and run winter and spring track. My name is Hannah Johnson. I go to Bridgewater State University, and I play softball. When I hear the term student athlete, I think of dedication. Student athletes dedicate most of their time to their education and athletics in order to excel in both. What comes to my mind is simply school, academics, seriousness, um, anything begins with S and student athlete is the balance of both areas which I think are incredibly important and often always always the student part always comes first. A dedicated student who's able to balance a hectic schedule. Busy, very busy. Um, being able to manage social life, family life, work, school, projects, extracurricular activities, sports, busy. Um, a student athlete is someone who plays sports but has to have work come first. Stress school first and then being an athlete, which we try to put 100% into both. Challenging, especially at, I think, Division three level in terms of you have to have that give and take. Um, but it's, it's school and, so the student that can balance a lot. I'm someone that excels at sports and academics and does a really good job of managing their time. When I think of a student athlete, a student athlete is someone that um, is an athlete after school, on the weekends, during contests, but someone who's also academically um, putting in the time, putting in the effort. Um, they really go hand in hand in order to be a successful athlete. You really have to make sure that you're getting it done in the classroom as well because um, if you're looking to go to college or if you're looking to play beyond the high school level, um, you really won't have as many opportunities if you're not making the grades um, in the classroom. So they really go hand in hand. The effort that you know you put into practice and games, you really have to do the same. I think student athletes are a different breed just because a lot of my professors will tell me this too. It's like you have a full-time job as a student because you have to do 40 plus hours a week in the classroom and homework and then on top of that you have a full-time job as an athlete. So you definitely have to make your make your life easier by doing your homework when you have to, taking your exams when you have to, don't miss class. It's like just the minor things, definitely. Attention to detail with student athletes. In my daily life, I wake up, go to school, go to practice or a game, and then another practice, lesson, or work. After all that, I get home late at night just to stay up to study and do homework. I wake up in the morning on a school, uh, if it's a school day. Um, I wake up, I usually eat breakfast, I brush my teeth and just get dressed for school and like get all my sports things together and then I go to school, take my classes and I usually have practice like right after school and then after practice I do my homework and I go to bed. Uh, well this morning I woke up, I went to lift, um, I, I didn't have to, I lifted at 8 so I got out of that around 9 grabbed some breakfast at the cafe, said hi to all my buddies there, um, Katsumi. Um, and then I went to class at 9.30 until 12.30, and then I had my individual meeting with coach, and then I got to practice pretty much right after. Spent some time in the trainers, and now I'm being interviewed. And then I have practice 3.30 to 6, 6.30, then dinner, and then homework, and then bed. <laughs> and then live tomorrow. Cool. Oh, 5 a.m. sprints tomorrow. I wake up, eat a healthy breakfast, uh, brush my teeth, go to school. Sometimes there's practice in the morning, early morning. Go to school, take my classes, and then go to bed. Many student athletes believe they are held to a higher standard. 
They are expected to do well in school so they can continue to play on their sports teams. From that coach's perspective, well, from mine, yeah. We have a standard that they must meet, and that sometimes is to do more or be more than the general population. You know, you're not just the general college student. There's the structure you have to follow or live in if you want to be in, say, our program. Every coach probably does things a little differently, but yes, I know there's also that stigma of, well, athletes get what they want or get preferentials, and I think it's actually harder. I think to a certain extent, um, when you think of a student athlete, they um, represent the school beyond the school hours. So when you're traveling to away games, when you're going to pep rallies, you want your school to be represented in, represented in a positive way. And they have the uniforms on, they're on the roster, so they are expected to act in an appropriate manner and maybe not have... Um, less tolerance if they're being heckled at an away game or something. So yeah, I think that uh, because you get to wear the school um, name and you should wear it proud that they definitely are held to a little bit higher of a standard. I think if they're not held to a higher standard by their teachers or others, they certainly hold themselves to a higher standard because they have to get everything done usually in a shorter amount of time. On our campus, they track statistics for retention and graduation, team grades, so much more. Not that they don't track other students, but we're definitely under a much more uh, watched situation. I also feel in campus living situations, you know, it's easy to say, oh, that was a bunch of football players who got into trouble um, because they want us to be good citizens. They want us to, to be well behaved, act in accordance to you know, college policies, but um, definitely held to a high standard. Over the years, being a student athlete has benefited me well, but also has hurt me. I have gained many friends and time management skills, but I've also missed out on a lot due to my commitment to athletics and school. Being a student athlete has benefited me because I get to stay in shape, so I don't have to spend as much time at the gym. It's hurt me because it takes up time in the day that I should be doing homework. The most beneficial aspect was definitely having instant friends on campus when I got here. Um, there's just a group of people that gets you better because you're doing the same thing as them day in, day out, um, spend a lot of time with them. And also it just got me to be a better student because I was able to learn time management when I have to take tests, exams, everything. Um, the I wouldn't say it ever hurt me. At all, it definitely at, at the start of college took a lot of adjustment because in high school, you know, you play for two hours after school and then you're done, you get to do your homework, whatever, which is still hard, very hard in high school, but going into college you have all this free time, so you think that, oh, it's fine if I push that off till this time because I don't have class then, right? And um, so definitely learning time management took a while so that's when it hurt when I didn't really understand that I had to get my work done and had to get everything done in order to play but since then it's never hurt me other than the bruises I get while playing. It's benefited me because I've made a ton of new friends from sports and I've learned to manage my time really well and it's hurt me because like on those days or most days <laughs> most days when I don't manage my time well I, um, it's hard to like get good grades and be and excel at sports. At one point in my life, I was ready to give up on the thing I love most, pitching. I faced struggles because I was so busy that I was ready to give it all up and throw all the time, money, and effort away. My coaches noticed my struggles and reeled me back in it and convinced me that I will get through it. And I did. Yes, in different ways. You have students that are um, very focused on being proactive all the time, which is their own stress where they're bringing homework to practice before practice and doing it. You have students that take a step back and understand that their priority right then is a project or school, so they have to communicate and not be at practice that night. Um, and academics is always first, so. Yeah, it's a challenge. That's the student athlete of a Division Three athlete, I suppose, that's the student athlete part. Um, in terms of our schedule, looking at it now, there's there's a lot of challenges, classes, and/or labs that go 
till about five o'clock every day. There's classes that start at 6.30 at night. Um, so it's a challenge in between all of it. So it's, it's tough but manageable. We try to get you in in the morning if we can do some individual time instead of you being in practice that day. Um, if you're gonna miss, you know, our athletes are pretty good about hustling right down here and getting there. Um, you know, our kids are never, never missing class for practice and we try to make adjustments and most of our professors are pretty good about, you know, we're leaving in on a Thursday for spring training. They've still got class Thursday and Friday. Figure it out, obviously game days and travel time. Uh, it's challenging and it's, it, students are working, they're, they're studying, they're in their classes, they're working on campus, they're internshipping, they're involved in things and it's and then our season as well. It's a grind, it really is, but uh, they're far better off for it in the long run in terms of what it helps you be able to do in your life going forward. The kids who I think struggle the most are ones who choose to miss class, choose to not turn in assignments on time or turned in half-heartedly, not seriously worked on. Um, the kids who choose not to use faculty office hours. Um, so many <clears throat> easy things for kids to get their work done by just being there. Um, study hall attendance is usually shoddy and if they go, they seem to get work done. If they don't go, they don't get work done. So. That would be my examples of kids who've struggled um, just trying to balance everything. My family and I have had an uphill battle my whole life. They expect perfection out of me, but without their support, I wouldn't be where I am today. They're really good with driving me everywhere and help, like, my mom's good at um, motivating me to get my work done and, like, reminding me why I'm doing this. <laughs> family tries to support me in all the ways they can and help me get stuff done if I need help. Just talking to me, you know, like if I've had a long day or I'm really tired and I can tell I'm getting moody or emotional from practice or schoolwork, I, just giving them a call definitely is helpful. And being in Boston, if I really am that desperate to see them, I can just drive home, which is nice. So they're always, and they don't, um, oh, the good thing is that my family doesn't really know much about softball, which is kind of nice for me. So they're not the type of family to be like, oh, you're you're messing this up in your swing, you're doing this. So when they come to games, it's very supportive and never like, oh, Mary, why'd you miss that ball? Or Mary, what, you know? So it's always a lot of love and support. I've had many cases where my coaches have helped me on and off the field, whether it was staying late to give me extra reps or letting me miss practice so I can catch up on my schoolwork. So that's always been a challenge. Um, a lot of kids have a difficult time balancing high school classes and coaching. Um, a, lot of eight, uh, a lot of kids take AP classes, so that's something that also um, can be a struggle. So what we do is, uh, for my team, um, we, an hour before practice, um, I have my kids, we call it the academic push, and they are to go to the cafeteria, all levels, varsity, JV, freshmen, and they have to study and do their homework for an hour. So um, we elect like a captain of the history, of the English, of the Spanish, to kind of help kids, tutor kids um, within the program. And then students are also able to go to teachers and get extra help. And that's built into our practice time. So they have at least 45 minutes to an hour. Every single day it's mandatory. We don't have time to do it between um, games, but on practice days we do it. Um, and it really came about um, from a parent who was really concerned with one of their daughters who was struggling in math. She was a starter on the team. She didn't really want her daughter to know she contacted me. So I thought it was a great idea to kind of help everybody balance academics and um, coaching uh, and playing. So we, um, we set it up and it worked really well and a lot of kids were able to um, get a lot accomplished. Make sure that I stay in touch with how they're feeling mentally, emotionally, and physically at all times, best as possible, because usually it's not just one thing or another that's affecting either the classroom or the sport. It's usually being able to understand what's happening in the, the whole life of the person, so. After years of being a student athlete, my advice for upcoming ones is to never give up. No matter what obstacles there are, you can always overcome them. The balancing piece is, is challenging because some, 
some players and students will say, you know, this is what I want to do, I'm really focused on it, and they've got a good plan, and sometimes in the back of my mind they say, not sure it's going to work because we've seen it, but you know, you, you walk your own path in, in that respect too, and, and uh, a lot of times it works, and sometimes it can backfire on you, and, and that's okay. You know, it's, it's live and learn, and it's growing and growing up here, so um, we figure it out. Make sure you find time to get your schoolwork in first, and then sports. Identifying what real priorities are. If you have a list of 20 things, make sure you can identify what needs to happen versus what you'd like to have happen. Um, definitely get yourself on a schedule so you aren't stuck at 2 in the morning doing homework. I think class attendance is critical. Get to class, <clears throat> sit near the front, participate, uh, stay after class, ask for, you know, clarification on various things. Um, bring books on bus rides when we have away games. We've had girls in Florida study during spring break because it was a great use of their time. So being <clears throat> proactive, all of those things are critical for success. Get your time management down in high school, definitely before you get here. And don't worry, don't worry about the friends aspect because it'll come. You're, at, you're in college, you live on the floor with 20 something other people, like you'll meet people, just let it be natural. Don't force yourself into friend groups that you don't like or that are gonna be bad for you and definitely give it your all when you get to practice and games and everything.